I do want to have a serious discussion about this, and, and this is a, a grown-up matter and issue. And it was telling in, in a very long answer, several minutes there, the First Minister couldn't even bring herself to accept. This is chopping the bottom off of doors. <laughs> however she tries to dress it up, however she tries to see it's basic common sense, it has been met with derision because it is a serious issue here uh, and there is uh, more consequences as well. Safety issues, concerns about the risk from fire from yeah. this plan have been raised. This morning a retired firefighter wrote to us. He said, and I quote, the doors in a school are essential for holding back heat and smoke should a fire start. The First Minister wants a grown-up and serious conversation about this. So does she agree with that quote from the retired firefighter? And can she stand up and tell us what consultation her government had with the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service about these plans? First Minister. This is, this is an absurd line of questioning. Can I just say, first of all, uh, to aid Douglas Ross's understanding of this, uh, we're not requiring local authorities to chop the bottom off every door in every classroom across the country. But if, if it is the case, I actually can't, I'm, I'm struggling to believe that I'm having to take Douglas Ross uh, through this in such a basic uh, manner. First point, the first point, presiding officer, is this one. If a door is hung in such a way uh, that it is inhibiting the natural flow of air, then one of the options a local authority should have is to rectify that. And we're giving them some money First to Minister, do that. First but Minister, sorry, can yeah. I just ask you to pause for a minute? I'm finding it difficult to hear the First Minister from here. I would be grateful if we could have just a, a bit of respect when people are asking questions and responding to them. Thank you. I find it quite difficult to believe the infantile approach of the Scottish Conservatives to really serious issues. So that's the first point. The second point is health and safety, of course, apply to all of the decisions that a local authority would make about deciding which measures to take. Uh, this is about the Scottish Government giving local authority the financial wherewithal to do what they consider they consider necessary to improve airflow and ventilation in schools.